You have everything going for you. And even if it doesn't look like it, you can change that. Thank you, thank you for watching In Vivo Live, your number one bilingual personal development show. Because we are here to help you grow. If you wish to be a guest on our show, please send us an email to info at invivoassociates.com. If you wish to be a sponsor, please contact us. But keep in mind that we only accept sponsors we believe in. Again, thank you for watching In Vivo Live. You have everything going for you. And even if it doesn't look like it, you can change that. And the only reason I can speak like this is because I have felt in my life, even when I didn't exactly know how to do something or where to go with it, if I was reaching, if I was reaching myself to get to that next step, to get to that next level for something better in my life, God sent somebody, somebody came into my life to help, to give me that extra push, to give me that assistance, to give me that guidance. And yes, I prayed, I prayed about it. I prayed, Jesus, please help me to continue following your will, um, whatever that may be, help me to want to do that, right? And um, and yeah, I just, I just want you guys to receive this in the best way possible because it really, it just really got to me because I was just like, you can't play football. And all I wanted to do when I was growing up, I always wanted to play football. And the only reason I didn't get to play football till seventh grade was because we didn't have money to play football. And the only reason I was able to play football is because my single parent of a mom, my amazing mother superhero woman, hey mom, uh, she worked so hard, put a roof over my head, put me in the best school she could find, found the money to do all of this, provided me a house for my teenage years. You know, she did all of this. She even housed me for free when I came back and got cut from the CFL. Like, this is free. Don't take these things for advantage. Don't take it for granted that you're living somewhere for free, bro. This guy's with his brother paying. I was just like, why isn't he paying for you? I mean, don't take it for granted, man. Don't. I don't know who I'm talking to, but I know I'm talking to somebody because one of you guys has, has it made. One of you guys can probably do whatever you want, buy whatever you want, eat whatever you want, and you're probably lazy. And there's no excuse. Like, I get it, your parents sheltered you, your parents did this for you, you have no want, you have no willpower, but let's put it this way. I told him, you, you can change this, but first you have to decide, what is, it, what is it that you want? What is it that you want out of life? And I get it, in high school, when you're 18 or 17 or 16 or 15, a lot of us don't know what we want, right? I get it. But, let's put it this way, if you want nothing, what do you think you're gonna get? If you want nothing, what are you gonna get? So, I can say from my experience, I was a weird kid. I wanted to be an engineer from freaking age five, right? I was like, I'm gonna be an engineer. I got into every summer program. I got into every accelerated class I could. I studied, I stayed in my books, I stayed away from drugs, stayed away from girls. <laughs> I stayed as much as football, working out, studying. I joined as many clubs. I tried to make sure I got into whatever colleges I wanted to. Dude, I did everything to make sure I could be an engineer. And bam, after a lot of hard work, support, love from my mom, family support. I just gotta give my mom a shout out. Shout out to Sandra Graves. <laughs> um, I'm blessed, right? But I, I, I'm just trying to show you that I knew I wanted something. I wanted something and I wanted something more. And you can look at my first video where I talk about the intro. You know, I didn't want my mom to struggle anymore. I saw my mom struggle. I saw what it took out of her to provide for everything that I had. And she did not want me to work in high school. She didn't want me to work in high school. You know why? Because she had to do exactly what that guy is doing right now. She had to work. She, she, she didn't get to finish high school the way she wanted to. 
Yeah, she got her degree eventually, but she had to get out there and work and pay for rent and pay for food and support herself at, I think it was 17, maybe 16. I know she was pretty much an adult at age 15. And she did all that work so that one day her kids wouldn't have to do the same. And I'm just trying to do the same for you guys. If I am blessed to have kids one day, them too. But right now, it's for you guys. Yeah, I, I show my stuff and I try and talk about it, but I ain't trying to show it as a way of saying, this is what I have. It's more of, yo, you can do this too. You just gotta decide what is it that you want. Whether that be football, education, um, business, wisdom, God, you gotta decide. If you don't decide, that's the answer in itself. So let's just end this message because um, I think the next step is for you to decide. That was pretty smooth, that was pretty smooth. You decide, what do, what do you want? What do you want? On that note, I, I do hope that you guys um, are, are striving for better in your life. It's funny, people think I'm a motivational speaker. My mom's a motivational speaker. I'm just saying how I feel and um, I think everybody has 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 something that they're they're meant to do. You just gotta find it, and um, whether that be football or not, I just hope that you guys know that if you can play football, it's a privilege. So make sure you get, leave your heart on that field, and um, that's all that's all I ever wanted to do. So, with that being said, you guys have a blessed day. Last but not least, make sure you enjoy the grind. Keep